uh, probably already know from the title of this video what I'm going to be talking about today, and that is my street legal pit bike. Alright, well, started off, this is the look from the handlebars. Uh, over here, you have the light switch. Turn it on. It stays on as long as it's the buttons push, you know. And then this is the horn switch. <laughs> so I use this uh, mount right here for my phone. Uh, I use the, an app on it for a speedometer because the speedometer doesn't work. Uh, I got this speedometer on Amazon for like 30 bucks. Uh, the speedometer is always off until you turn it on right here. This is the switch. Uh, turns it on and then the uh, settings in it are messed up. They don't work. That switch also turns on the brake light. That is the brake light. I have a brake switch. So when you press in the back brake, it gets brighter. I have a quick disconnect charger right here because all of this is ran off of one battery which I have mounted right there. And connected to the battery, I have a battery meter. So I can push it to see how much battery I have left. I also have a key that acts like a kill switch. Turn it on, you'll be able to start the, start the bike. But when you turn it off, it shuts it off. Here is the horn. I just bolted it right to the carburetor. <clears throat> um, this is kind of the mess of wiring I have connecting the speedometer. Um, once I get my new one, I'm gonna make it a little bit cleaner. Um, this is the brake switch. This is what, when you push the back brake down, this it activates the switch. And that's what causes the light to go dim. The muffler that comes on it is actually really loud. I have a friend who ordered one that's quieter off Amazon. He hasn't got it yet. But until I get told that it's too loud, I'm just going to keep it so then cars can hear me better. I do just have dirt tires on here. Um, I haven't had the need to buy street tires yet because I do take this thing off-roading. But maybe in the near future. It, run, it rides pretty smooth with the uh, dirt tires on there. But the license plate holder is just a piece of metal that I got from Menards for like six bucks. Um, I just put two U-bolts on it. 